And good afternoon, everyone. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, and this is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. From now until 5, we record live, and if you have a radio you want to check out, uh, give us a shout. We're recording now, and uh, then we'll post it up to YouTube later, so everybody can come to YouTube and uh, uh, do a call letter search for KC9VKV, and that will take you to our QSO Vlog page. Also today, we're running four Internet SDR Fire Tablets, monitoring Rochester, New York, Atlanta, Georgia, Alexandria, Virginia, and Milford, Pennsylvania, trying to get closer for hearing our 100-watt friends a little better. The audio of these four SDR receivers comes up on a six-position rotary switch, and also on the switch is our local receiver, uh, audio and today our local receiver is running two 10-foot vertical magnetic loop antennas one aimed north and south and the other east and west they're selected by a three position rotary switch position three is a cophase option well those are our working conditions how about yours uh, we'll be uh, checking in uh, just a little bit later and uh, looking for you to check in. Right now, we're going to uh, check in with Charlie up in New Hampshire at K1GZL. Charlie, you got a copy? GZL, Charlie, you got a copy? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, good good copy, Tim. 10, 15, uh, over 9. Uh, we're coming in here uh, direct uh, from uh, down just northwest of Louisville, Kentucky. KZ9 BKV, K1 GZL on a raw, raw, chilly and uh, somewhat rainy day. Yesterday's storm and up to the present time, I think we've had just about one and two thirds inches of rain. And uh, it's chilly. The wind is blowing from the northwest and it's uh, between 38 and 39 degrees. If it gets much colder, it will mix with snow. Although I think the whole business will be over uh, later this evening. So I'll turn it back to you and see how you copy. I'm not sure which uh, SDR you're, uh, you'd be copying uh, better on, but uh, maybe uh, maybe Milford, but I don't know um, where the first uh, bounce is. KC9VKV, K1GZ, and an L. Uh, Charlie, actually, I'm using Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia is uh, currently uh, giving me, uh, looks to be about a 15 over on your signal. So uh, I go with the flow, and uh, right now it's uh, coming out of Atlanta. Roger, Roger. Uh, coming out of Atlanta. Roger, Roger. Okay, Roger, Roger. I guess that would be about, be about the same distance as you would be direct uh, from here, about the same uh, distance. Uh, you say you're getting good copy out of Atlanta. Uh, that's uh, just a little better than my half PowerPoint uh, on this quad. Uh, that's a bit uh, south of the main road. You sound great. Here it is. In New Hampshire, at K1GZL. Charlie, you got a copy? Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia is uh, currently uh, giving me, uh, looks to be about a 15 over on your signal, so uh, I go with the flow, and uh, right now it's uh, coming out of Atlanta. Roger, roger. Okay, Jim, I hope that came through. You, you sound great. KC9, VKV, K1, GZL on a raw day. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Beautiful, beautiful. Thanks for the recording. And uh, I'm just wondering, uh, do you have much uh, detuning of your antenna uh, due to uh, snow and icy conditions of the way? Snow and icy conditions of the way? Oh, yeah, absolutely. But there's no snow and ice. There's no snow and ice. It's just the fact that it's a very sharp resonance uh, with this quad. Uh, I'm resonating at, uh, at 7151. Uh, 71.52, and when I get up above 71.75, it goes to pot. Uh, but it gets worse when uh, when we get uh, we get some rain like we're having right now. I'm running probably three to one, 3.5 to one, and uh, my amplifier just will not uh, uh, do very well. I really should get a uh, some kind of a tuner. Uh, but unfortunately, I have not uh, been able to do that uh, yet, uh, something that would be uh, reliable. But uh, it works. But if I were any higher in, any higher in frequency, uh, 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 7200, it wouldn't work at all. Go ahead. 
Uh, Roger, I just went back to my uh, east, uh, my north-south uh, uh, 10-foot uh, mag loop antenna, and you're giving me now about a 12 over. Uh, Atlanta kind of faded down a little bit, so I switched over to my uh, local receiver and that 10-foot uh, mag loop uh, uh, north and south. And uh, it's doing real well. Now, the thing is, uh, I sure am glad that uh, I decided to just use the uh, inverted V, the dipole inverted V, as my uh, transmit antenna because any kind of little rain or uh, whatever really uh, detunes uh, these um, uh, mag loops. They uh, just, uh, the slightest bit of a rain will uh, detune them, you know, and uh, I'm not using those uh, remote control uh, uh, capacitors. These are, are tuned by hand, and I tuned both of them this morning. Luckily, uh, no rain, but, uh, you know, they will drift uh, in the rain uh, quite a bit. Roger? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what's happening up here right now is the rain. It's not raining hard. It's a very light... Uh it's a very light uh, rain, uh, and uh, everything is soaked. Everything around here is soaked, and I'm completely, completely uh, detuned, uh, completely detuned. I might mention also that um, 85 to 90 percent of our leaves are gone off the trees, and that is the leaf trees. 85 to 90 uh, percent, but the other 50 percent of trees are your uh, your softwoods. Uh, in the boreal, we see we're in the boreal forest zone where um, you have spruce and fir and that sort of thing. Uh, uh, but you know, the white pine you see lower down and south of here and in southern uh, Maine, we don't have that at this elevation. It's just uh, too cold. <laughs> uh, so uh, back to you, uh, Jim, and I don't want to hold this uh, too long. There may be many stations trying to, uh, uh, to get a report, uh, but I appreciate all the work you're doing on trying to help people uh, with their, uh, uh, with their uh, transmitters and so on. KC9, Victor, King, Victor, K1, GZ, and an L. Roger, Charlie. Well, I went back to Atlanta. You're uh, 10 over in Atlanta and very, very clean. So uh, <laughs> Atlanta, SDR uh, rules the roost uh, this morning for uh, New Hampshire. So, uh, Charlie, let me say threes to you, sir. And uh, gosh, I really appreciate you uh, joining us uh, each uh, afternoon when we uh, begin our QCO vlog. Uh, kind of give us a, a heads up on uh, what the uh, conditions are and what we can expect for the afternoon. So uh, uh, threes for now, and we'll say uh, uh, back to you, Charlie. We'll say uh, uh, back to you, Charlie. Okay, we'll say 73, and again, you were just as clear as a bell, direct. Appreciate you joining us uh, each uh, afternoon when we uh, begin our QCO free log. Uh, kind of give us a, a heads up on uh, what the uh, conditions are and what we can expect for the afternoon. So, uh, uh, three for now, and we'll say uh, uh, back to you, Charlie. Okay, I hope that came through. 73, Jim, and uh, you're right at the shack like you're sitting next to me. A1 G's at L, we are clear. Roger, Roger, Charlie, three is that way, sir. Uh, this is uh, KC9VKV and the Friday afternoon uh, QSO Vlog Network. If you've got a radio you want to check out, uh, give us a shout. We are recording live from now until 5, and then uh, we'll take the recording and post it up on YouTube in the next couple of days. And uh, you can go by YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. That will take you to our QSO Vlog page. And on that page, you'll be looking for QSO today entitled my group air check 10 18 19 which is today's date my group air check 10 18 19 uh, this is casey 9 vkv